Hey, I'm Mike, and this is a quick reference guide to all the blending modes in Photoshop and Clip Studio Paint. Today we're doing difference. Uh, the difference layer is more often used in uh, photo manipulation rather than uh, you know all of my stuff is from the perspective of an artist but it's still I still have some some suggestions for use and I have used it before uh, quite by accident it's how I discovered just you know what the crap this thing does because it behaves very very strangely um, I, I have the definition here somewhere my all right my my high level definition is that when you paint with black with difference and this is, I mean, I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on this and people give like the mathematical, like the RGB values do this and you subtract. None of that matters. You want to know how, the, how, what it does, right? So what it does is if you paint with white, it creates a photo negative image. If you paint with black, it does nothing. And if you touch two pixels of the same color together, they turn black. Let me pull up the like the actual definition. I thought I had it with me. So, so the actual definition of difference is the color of the set layer, meaning this top layer that's set to difference, is subtracted from the layer below and the absolute value of the difference is blended with the color of the layer below. So, but I mean, when you're creating art, there, I just can't imagine a scenario where you're going to paint <laughs> like and, and use the difference mode as a as an adjustment layer. You can easily create a photo negative image, um, but here's where I find it useful. Let me show you how this thing. I have this rainbow painted, right? And just to, to bring the point home, I'm painting with black on the difference layer. You can see that here, sitting on top of this normal layer, and nothing happens. And if I paint with white, like if I touch white to this purple, I'm just getting the direct. opposite side and if I take this color and touch them together then we have black now for art making this can this can have its uses let's go back to my oh, that was for another one <laughs> here's this uh, Jim Carrey drawing that I have here um, all the art that I do on the channel is stuff that I've made so it's not like don't worry I'm not stealing anything uh, so anyways, we have Jim here, and since this is a scan of watercolor paper, if I wanted to edit this, uh, it might be helpful to know where I have uh, where I have loose pixels. So if I if I paint it along the edge here, um, and then use this as a mask to kind of guide me while I was. Uh, uh, making changes, uh, changes on a different layer, or changes to the original, or even if I was going down here and I was just, uh, you know, soft erasing or whatever. Um, so that's one possible use. Another use for this is if you want to, if you have a hard edge, or like in this case, uh, we have, um, this is a, obviously it's a scan, and so it's lightened up quite a bit from the light of the scanner. So we could do whole, you know, contrast changes or whatever. But if we just want to darken up some of these inks, what we can do is take some type of textured brush or a paintbrush in difference mode. And grab this color, which is a blue color. And we could actually paint in and render some darker colors. And then you're going to get some some really strange things that happen with uh, the other colors that are mixed in. Since this is a, a physical piece of art, you know, I can see that like there's some purple right here. There's going to be different colors all over the place, uh, depending on the light from the scanner and the angle of the inks and paints and things. You, know, you get a lot of different, you know, this his, his face isn't just, it's not like if you do a digital painting, sometimes all the va all the skin values are, are somewhere in here. Uh, but, uh, you know, especially if it's sort of a, a stylized piece but when you when you're doing sort of a you know colored pencil drawing like this to get these tones you really you're I'm, there's all kinds of purple and red and all sorts of stuff in there to try and give the illusion that it's uh, that it's real skin so 
Yeah, that's difference. It's it's very it's used a lot in photo manipulation to for alignment to line things up, especially things on a black background, since it doesn't. If you have uh, you can have a couple images that are that are uh, you could fill in the backgrounds with black, and then you can uh, uh, align them together really easily. Or um, uh, different uh, d if you have d different uh, layers that are identical, and you're trying to match them up or something. So. Uh, Difference is, is super valuable to, to people who do photo manipulation, but uh, to, to painters, drawers, creators like myself, um, it, it, it seems a bit limited. Um, unless you, you know, if you're, if you're doing a digital painting and you have multiple layers, if you separate the RGB values out and you're aligning them, you could certainly use the, uh, the difference layer to, to bring them back together. Um, uh, you know, if you're if you're uh, copying out part of something like this, and then you wanted to uh, to realign, you know, just a little piece, and it wasn't the whole layer that can easily just be dragged and dropped or whatever. So, um, yeah, that is difference. Uh, please see my channel for videos on all I don't know thirty or whatever of these. I guess it's about twenty five blend modes uh, with uh, short little explanations and a few uh, uses. So thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and please leave comments below with, uh, with questions you have about what I did or ideas for, for questions you'd like to have answered in uh, Photoshop, Meg Studio, whatever. Okay? Thanks for watching.